Just completed my second ever whatnot show, and this is the aftermath of the shop. It's an absolute bomb site. We sold 50, I want to say 55 items on our second stream. If you didn't see my video a couple of days ago, my first ever stream was a nightmare, but we smashed it. I'm just doing a quick clip now, and then we'll get on with the rest of the vlog um, for tomorrow. But yeah, what an absolute experience that was. Absolute nightmare the first stream, but we absolutely pulled out the bag on the second one. Um, yeah, it's now eight o'clock, so I'm gonna get home. I started at half six, so I've been live for nearly an hour and a half there. Um, did 50 odd items. It was good, it was good. Uh, some stuff sold reasonably well. I'll go over all this tomorrow, but yeah, I'll see you in the morning, bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. The clip you saw just then was of last night around eight o'clock in the evening. Um, we're here in the morning now, it's still a mess. I won't show you because it's literally the same, I haven't touched anything. But I've loaded up the laptop and we're gonna try and ship these orders off. The total uh, sum, of last night's, uh, what do you call that, show, was £178. And there was, I don't know if that's a shipping as well. I have no way of knowing if that's a shipping. It might well be, but that sounds like it could be right. So it was 56 items. So that works out an average of £3 an item. Now, <clears throat> that sounds reasonable. Um, it sounds about right, so that might not be shipping. Some of them went for £10, some of them went for £8, some of them went for £1. So there really is a vary in there. There was a massive vary of stuff. Um, shirts, Carhartt trousers, North Face jumper went in there. Uh, there was a bunch of stuff. I learned a lot. Um, I learned a lot of st the sort of stuff that I want to try and pick up at the boot sales to try and do more whatnot shows, basically. But yeah, I'm very proud of that. £178. My first ever show, I made the video on it. It was an absolute um, nightmare. We, on our first show, we sold five items for um, seven pounds, and I think a lot of that was just out of pity for me because a lot of people didn't know if I was going to be going to ship them. Because in the show, I literally said, "Guys, this is my first show. If, if you know, buy stuff at your own risk." Because I was really that nervous about being able to do it. Um, and then in this show, I was really confident actually, just levels above that you wouldn't even recognise the difference. It was a um, completely different show. Absolutely smashed it. Did a little, a little bit of preparation, a little bit of talk to a mate who's done five or six shows now, so he knows what he's doing. He come in the shop a couple of days ago, and I just ran some ideas off of him, um, and it helped massively. So, who won't be watching this, because he doesn't even know I do YouTube, but yeah. If you're looking to get into whatnot, definitely give it a go. Just be aware that it is quite a tricky thing to get used to, but by your second show, like me, I was absolutely ready to go, um, and didn't hesitate once. So we did all right, we sold quite a bit, and um, the shop is looking very bare now. Once I've packaged everything, I'm gonna do a loop around the shop and show you how empty the shop is, because we've had the best five day stint I've ever had, ever. It's been absolutely unbelievable, so I'm gonna do a quick tour of the shop and show you how low on stock we are. I've been, the last few days, just been rummaging through vintage, trying to find stuff to order in. It's been a nightmare. Um, I need these car boots to come back quick, man, because we are selling a lot of stuff, and I just need, you know, I need some quick, I need a quick way of getting stock and car boots, there's no better. So yeah, anyway, we've got some eBay orders going out as well. And we've also got these whatnot orders. If I flip this camera around and show you what I'm looking at. There we go. Total sold, 178. Um, shipping, total shipping spent. I don't know, This that might have to come out of there. I'm not 100% sure, it doesn't really say. Um, item sold, oh, there we go, 58 we sold. So yeah, pending delivery is, 56 so i'm hoping this is all um yeah they go that some for 12 pounds i can't remember what that was now um but yeah there's a whole range of prices down here but yeah we'll, we'll certainly look it out maybe this is five or six pieces i can't yeah this is going to be five or six pieces um but yeah as you can see some of these went for one pound um three pound 22 pounds but that was for several items um, 14 pounds so even though i've sold 56 items i've only got 21 orders that's because people have um basically bought multiple items so um it's not as much packaging as i thought because that was one of my big worries was that was that like i was gonna have to package 56 items and it would have been 100 bags um polymailer bags and obviously that's like a lot to keep buying in every stream um it's a big expense to keep doing that but yeah, 21 is fine. Um, I've got some big bags out the back that I can just bag them up. That will be no problem. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'm going to get these done now. And I've it's 10 o'clock. I didn't get in here till 10 o'clock. And I've just had to shut the shop, put a sign up saying I'm open at 11. So hopefully I can smash this out in an hour. 
let's do it. I'll see you on the other side and when we get it all packaged and then we go for the eBay orders. Let's go. Boys and girls, boys and girls, I can't remember the last time I talked to you. Um, I think it might have been even 10 o'clock, but now it is 3 o'clock. So some serious time has surpassed. That took so long to package all of these parcels up. Um, yeah, three IKEA bags filled with parcels. I've got to get used to this. This is going to hopefully be every week. Um, nightmare. 55, 56 sales, three IKEA bags full of it. I'm not going to be very popular when I take these to the um, drop-off <laughs> location. And what I'm going to have to do is go to a couple, I think, because if I go in with three IKEA bags filled, they're not going to be very happy. Anyway, that has now been done. It took me ages. It took me about two hours to package all of that up, a little over two hours. Um, madness. Maybe that's just because it's my first time doing it and it was just quite slow. Um, but we're done. We've done it all. 180 odd pounds worth of stuff. So worth doing it. Uh, cleared out a lot of old stock as well. So now I'm going to go onto the eBay orders. Let's go and see what we managed to sell. Let's have it. So we've got six orders to go through. This sold it yesterday afternoon. We'll go through it anyway. We paid £8.44 for it. Eight, yeah, that is right. £8.44 uh, on the old vintage machine. Ted Baker trench coat. Really nice. Um, and it managed to sell for 26 I Had it up for 35 Took it off for 26 Obviously, because I paid so little for it, I was happy to take the 26 there. It's a nice £15 profit. Um, this is just the Craig, Craig Hopper shirt, hiking shirt. Nothing special. Really nice shirt, to say the least, though. Um, and... Doesn't say how much we paid, but we got thirteen thirty four for it. Next up, some super dry shorts. These are great to look out for on your car boot runs because they're going to be one pound at the car boot sale all day long. And we have managed to sell that one for thirteen pounds, and it sold very quick. So if you see these at the car boot sale, any sort of funky super dry swim shorts, there's loads of other brands that are good as well. Abercrombie and Fincher, another one to throw out there. Yeah, they sell really good, and they're going to be one pound at the boot sale. And you're going to be able to get 13 pounds for them within a couple of weeks so definitely worth looking out for those especially during the summer months obviously um this is a bit of a naff sale this come in today um it is a pair of dress shoes women's dress shoes we don't really care for them listed them up ages and ages ago um yeah got three pounds 50 for them it's an old listing Good to see some of that lower quality stuff selling though. £20 for some super dry cargo shorts. Again, another one to look out for at your car boot sales. Cargo shorts, always a good seller, especially if you can get them cheap enough. Um, next one, last one, Ralph Lauren shirt. Again, just your classic checkered Ralph Lauren. Um, always onto a winner of your Ralph Lauren. It does take a little while to sell some, some Ralph Lauren, especially the smaller pony stuff, but it is always a good seller eventually. And we've got £15 for that one plus, no, that's including shipping, so about £12. But yeah. Yeah, so not a bad day, all in all, uh, considering I've got the shop stuff that sold and obviously all the whatnot stuff. So we've done a fair bit in the last 24 hours. But yeah, I'm going to go and package all these up and join you back afterwards. Alrighty, some time, some more time has surpassed. This is a very jumpy sort of vlog. Um, but anyway, it is now four o'clock and I'm pretty much done for the day because I've got to go and send a load of parcels off gonna pop up on screen what we managed to get listed today it was four items as always four items every day uh, there was a day earlier in the week where i only got three done just because the vintage was delayed talking of vintage i'm gonna pop up on screen some of the bargains i've got through in the last couple of days um some really good cool stuff in there so i'm gonna pop that up on screen as i'm doing this outro and then in the video so if you did enjoy this like subscribe thanks for watching um i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get to a car boot this week but i'm gonna try I'm going to have to travel for one, but we're going to try because my local one, again, uh, is going to be waterlogged, which is sad, but it is what it is. But yeah, I'll try and get one out desperately. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Make, make sure to like the video if you did enjoy. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.